For purposes of CVP analysis, mixed costs must be classified into their fixed and variable elements. The high-low method is one type of analysis that will allow us to take that mixed cost and identify both its variable and fixed components. All right, the first thing we need to do is determine the variable cost per unit, and we're going to use the following formula. All right, we're going to take the change in total cost at the high versus the low level of activity, and we're going to divide that by the high minus the low level of activity. And that is going to give us our variable cost per unit. All right, so the high and low, and low levels of activity are 50,000 miles in April and 20,000 miles in January. The maintenance cost at these two levels are $63,000 and $30,000. Right? The difference in the maintenance cost is $33,000, and the difference in the miles is $30,000. Right, so again, that numerator, we're taking the change in cost, and that denominator is taking the change in the activity level. If you divide 30,000 into 33,000, you get $1.10. Right, and that is our variable cost per unit. All right, step two, we're going to determine our fixed cost by subtracting the total variable cost at either the high or the low level of activity from the total cost. All right, so the total cost at the high level of activity was $63,000. We also know at that level we had 50,000, I believe it was miles. So you simply multiply that by $1.10, that's the variable cost per unit, to arrive at our total variable cost of 55,000. If you subtract your variable cost, the 55,000, from 63,000, you will obtain the fixed cost, in this case, $8,000. All right, you can do a very similar um, exercise for the low level of activity. All right, the total cost at our low level was 30,000. Under that um, level of activity, we had 20,000 miles. Again, you're going to multiply that by $1.10 to arrive at the total variable cost under the low level of activity, which was 22,000. The difference between the total cost and our total variable cost of 22,000 is $8,000, and that represents our total fixed cost. All right, so we just determined that we have $8,000 of fixed cost per month, and we also determined that our variable cost was $1.10 per mile. So we can come up with the following formula. We can say that our maintenance cost will equal $8,000 plus $1.10 times the miles that we're driven. Right. So if we estimate that we're going to drive 45,000 miles, we would calculate our maintenance cost as $8,000 would represent our fixed component, and our variable component would be calculated by taking $1.10, multiplying that by the $45,000 miles to arrive at $49,500. If we add up our fixed and our variable component, we'll arrive at a total maintenance cost of $57,500. All right, so now it's time for you to determine the fixed and variable components using the high-low method, and you will find the solutions on the next video.